Hello, my friends. This is Rosemary. I got a package. I got a package. I opened it up already from Rocky and Richie Rich. <laughs> now, you know, I love sharing my packages. And uh, Connie got her package the other day, and I got mine today. Yay! And I'm wearing mine. Y'all want to see it? Y'all want to see them? Ta-da! Connie got hers in blue, and I got mine in red. Because everyone knows I like red. <laughs> My favorite color is actually not red. It's blue. Blue and black. Purple and black. So... But red seems to be my color, right? I got my my USA shirt on today, representing Fourth of July. Anyway, so thank you, Richie and Rocky. I I just appreciate you guys so much for thinking of us. Um, you know, and when they think of Connie, they think of me, and I just I'm just so blessed, you guys. I love you. I love you. And you know, I'm going to be able to wear this also with just one braid, like in the, like on my just one braid in my back in the back like that and then put it to, you know, you you can do different designs. But I got such a big forehead, I just put my hat on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I will be wearing them. Thank you very 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 much. Um I also on this video now Rocky Berrigan uh, if you don't know who she is, go check her out. She does uh, videos on food, and uh, she's done her weight loss through uh, Weight Watchers for many years and has been so successful. You look amazing, girlfriend. And I ain't just saying that. You know that. Uh, anyway, her and uh, and her husband, he's not always on, but we've we've known each other like like we spent time together. We, we know each other for real. <laughs> anyway... Let me get to what I was going to say. Someone is, so, uh, I had someone in, when I was with Tony in Sacramento, uh, write to me and ask me for ideas on what to snack. And I, I gave her some ideas. But I wanted to also, it's really hot here in Fresno. I mean, it is boiling. I mean, it got to 120 one day outside on my thermometer. They said it was only going to be like 113, and on the thermometer it was 120. Of course, we're out here on the ranch, and uh, anyway. So what I do is I always, this is green tea, and I just squirt a little bit, because I like lemon in my tea, and and, and uh, uh, I, I, I put sweet and low in it. I know it's not good for me, but hey, Splenda makes me sick, so I use sweet and low. Don't throw stones. Don't throw stones. You know, some people can handle the Splenda and some people can't. Now, I would love uh, to buy trivia, uh, and I and I do from time to time. It's just so expensive. So right now, all I got is sweet and low. All right. What you could do is, I don't have any grapes right now. I should. I mean, I live on raisin country here, but I don't have any. But you can throw... I like the green seedless grapes. I throw those in the freezer. Oh my goodness. You're talking about a good, good, cold dessert. That's amazing. And last year, Cross the Cons, uh, Susan from Texas, she was freezing watermelon and selling it out at the farmer's market. frozen watermelon if you've never had this mm, such a great dessert and I'm just trying to get the seeds out these seeds are okay the black ones are you shouldn't you shouldn't um, see it's supposed to be a seedless watermelon anyway so, if you take the time to freeze the watermelon slices, I mean, just freeze them, put them in a plastic um, baggie, ziplock it, and uh, then hold it with paper. You don't want to use paper towel because it'll stick to it. Um, 
this is just uh, what is it, parchment paper and uh, or wax paper. And give it to your kids. You enjoy it. Watermelon is very good for you. It has a lot of water in it, so we're eating our water, right? Cucumbers, tomatoes, um, asparagus. Those are all foods that we should be enjoying in the summer. Carrots. They're all diuretic um, uh, and it, uh, foods that won't bloat us. That in the summertime we tend to put on water weight, so we need to, you know, cut out the sodium. If you buy, um, uh, you know, foods like uh, in a can, rinse them. They're full of sodium. Uh, try to try to you know, cook your food and not buy processed food that you want to stick in the microwave. I know it's hot and you tend to want to do that, but believe me, it's better off for us that gain so easily the water when uh, in the summertime. Now, you want to stay dehydrated. It's funny that we talk about, you know, uh, how I want to say this, like, you know, we get, uh, we have to get, we have to get water in us. We don't want to get dehydrated. People that have had weight loss surgery tend to get dehydrated very easily. So we really need to keep the water in us. Uh, plain water, but right now I just wanted to refresh myself with some tea. But I usually do water, plain old water. And um, you just want to just keep your keep sipping, sipping, sipping all day. And it causes you not to want to eat so much. Um, I get full really fast. Um, and then 30 minutes of exercise will also help with that uh, bloating feeling in the summer where you feel like you've just gained water weight. Um, why do I know this? Because I've looked it up and I've experienced it from year to year. I am nine years out of gastric bypass. So um, I hope that helped. And thank you, Rocky. Uh, I answered the question for the snacking. Uh, you know, stay cool in this weather, guys. If you're going to snack, snack on fruit, vegetables. Um, do your best to do... Um, I have this other thing that I do. I have an oven that has a pilot. And um, I know you guys know what flat outs are. And I will cut these flat outs. They're 90 calories for one. And they're pretty big. And I don't like them the way they come out of the package. For most, for the most part, they're kind of soggy and doughy, and I don't like anything doughy. So what I do is I can't eat a whole one anyway. I will throw this in my oven. If you have a pilot on that's in your oven all the time, just throw them in your oven. And in the morning, you have a tostada. I put some beans on here. Now, I don't do pinto beans. My husband's on a low glycemic uh, low glycemic uh, diet. So we keep black beans, homemade, black beans uh, and, um, and kidney beans. Those are the two that are low glycemic. They're better for you, uh, black beans and kidney beans. Anyway, look up a low glycemic diet. You'll see what I'm talking about. And... Um, so I, I'll spread, you know, I refry them, and then I, I kind of spread them here, and I'll put uh, that in a little bit, of, sprinkle some cheese, avocado, tomato. Sometimes I don't even put meat. Just the, just the beans is enough. And mm, you're talking about good stuff. Oh, my goodness, I'm already at nine minutes. Anyway, and if you don't have a pilot light, you know, because I do propane, I have propane, I live on a ranch. If you don't have a pilot, pilot on in your oven, just turn on your oven and let them get crispy. I would cut them before because then you're going to have just a bunch of crumbs. But um, cut them in half, unless you can eat a whole one. I, 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 I can't, and I don't want to. Um, this still has carbs. Um, the uh, It's nine carbs for one whole one. So... Uh, if you eat half of, I mean, it's 16 carbs, yeah, nine carbs for a whole one. So if you get half of that, even better, right? So, okay, and this is what they look like. And I know you guys have seen these at the store. They're not where the tortillas are at. For some reason, they're in the deli section. That's where they keep them. 
And uh, my husband likes the wraps. I don't. I don't do the doughy thing. So I always buy like two packages. Anyway, so I hope I can help. Let me know. Hope you're having a great summer. Bye. Thank you, Rocky. Thank you, Rich.